Aloha guys, it's Christy Lani. Today I have our daily devotional and the title for today's one is going to be called Food in the Desert. Before long, the Israelites were complaining because they didn't have any food to eat. God sent them manna from heaven and quail to satisfy their hunger. For 40 years, God provided for his people in the desert. God still under takes to provide for you. The whole community of Israel complained about Moses and Aaron. If only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt, they moaned. There he sat around pots filled with meat and ate all the bread we wanted. But now you have brought us into the wilderness to starve us all to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, Look, I am going to rain down food from heaven for you. Each day, the people can go out and pick up as much food as they need for that day. I will test them in this, we, in this to see whether or not they will follow my instructions. Then the Lord said to Moses, I have heard the Israelites' complaints. Now tell them. In, this, in the evening, you will have meat to eat, and in the morning, you will have all the bread you want. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening, vast numbers of quail flew in and covered the camp. And the next morning, the area around the camp was wet with dew. When the dew evaporated, a flaky substance as fine as frost blanketed the ground. The Israelites were puzzled when they saw it. What is it? They asked each other. They had no idea what it is. The Israelites called the food mana. It was white like coriander seed. And it tasted like honey waffles. So the people of Israel ate manna for 40 years until they arrived at the land where they would settle. They ate manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan. That's in Exodus 16, chapters 2 to 4, 11 to 15. 31 to 35 and for me I can relate to God providing because he always provided for me whether I realized it at that time but I realize it now that he always provided and I always had food you know I always had a sh- somewhere to sleep so you know don't never give up your faith um, even though you're going through a bad time Keep the faith because God is there to provide for you, whether you know it or not. But yeah, this is a wonderful story. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and it helped someone today. You guys take care. God bless. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Aloha.